early morning here in Colorado, but we're up early because it is adventure time. Allie, where are we going? We're going to Mexico. Yes, it's official, my friends. I have a girlfriend, and it's crazy. I haven't had a girlfriend in a long time, and she's amazing. And we're gonna go to Mexico. Why are we going to Mexico? Well, turns out we both love Mexico. We met in Mexico, and now we're going back to Mexico. We didn't actually meet in Mexico. We met at That's... my birthday three years ago. Why are you wearing sunglasses? <laughs> because <laughs> I get headaches from the, the lighting in the airport. She just wants to look cool at all times. <laughs> Things I'm learning about Allie, she always opts out at the security line, which is probably a good thing, but it does take a lot longer. All right, Allie, so I'm curious about this, and I'm sure you're all curious. Why do you opt out? Um, I choose to opt out because the technology uh, for those body scanners hasn't been thoroughly tested, um, and I don't feel comfortable going through them. There you go. It usually doesn't take this long, right? No, usually it's really fast. Um, but they detected explosives on my person. Not exactly clear why. You are pretty explosive. <laughs> What's up? What's One of the things I really appreciate about you is that we have zero plans. We don't know where we're going. We don't know anything. And you're cool with that. Oh, it's the best way to do it. That's, it's hard to find somebody like this. And I found her. <laughs> We have both been allowed into Mexico. Yes. We're getting closer. Our first order of business is to rent a car, because you know how much I love cars. I'm gonna drive. I like traveling without too many plans because it leaves room for adventure. All right, cenote time. one with nature right now. This is a truly symbiotic relationship that I have with these fish. They are making my feet soft as can be, and I'm feeding the fish, which according to that sign over there, you're not supposed to do. This is a pretty good start to our little adventure. Straight from the airport to Paradise Cenote. A lot of people get scared of the street food in Mexico because they think it's gonna make you sick and it's not washed correctly. That is untrue, don't you think? I'm not scared. I'm not scared at all. No, the best food I've ever had in Mexico is right here on the street and we found the street with all the good stuff like quesadillas and tacos and burritos and yum, 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 yum. And if something smells questionable, you have two options. You can either throw it away or you can put a lot of hot sauce on it. Yeah, good point. Hot sauce cures everything. Cheers. And elotes are essentially just corn and mayonnaise. They put a little bit of cheese on it and some picante, some hot sauce. Ooh, and don't forget the lime. And a little bit of lime. What'd you get, Ali? Um, I got dos tacos de asada de res. Yeah. <laughs> Another reason I really love the street food scene is because they set out all these tables and chairs and there's like families out here and kids and everybody of all ages is outside and it's a big community gathering. So I have two blank canvases right here, some quesadillas, and every one of these carts has a toppings extravaganza section with salsas and onions. That dog right there, he knows where to hang out right next to people dropping food. Good morning, Allie. Good morning, Ryan. Let's go for a run. Okay. Uh, come here, Marcus. Running, kissing, running, kissing. 
one of the great things about Allie is that she loves running as much as I do, maybe even more. We're running through Tulum, all the hippie villages, all the smoothie shops. We need to get a little exercise. We gotta earn, we gotta earn our Cocos Locos later. Do a little sweating. It can't just be pure vacation. It's also really challenging to find parking in this part of Tulum. So if you're running through it, you save yourself 100 pesos on parking. <laughs> So Ali and I have been together about two and a half months now. And we're pretty excited about things, aren't we? Yep. <laughs> yep. I have not had a girlfriend in a long time. Neither has Ali. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. That's true. <laughs> we're both very, very picky people. We don't settle. We've both met lots of amazing people the last few years, of course, but we just didn't go for it. And I wasn't even looking for a girlfriend. In fact, I was really enjoying my life the way it was. And then I met Ali, and I was like, wow, life is going to be better now. <laughs> Way better! And now we're running in the jungle in the middle of nowhere. And you know what's interesting? Is that on my birthday this year, on January 21st, I yelled out to the world that I was ready for love. Finally, it had been so long that I was, I felt really ready and open to love and lifting the barriers that I had put up. And then I met Ali like a month later. Isn't that crazy? I heard you. You heard me. I heard you yell and I was like, shoot, am I ready for love? <laughs> Every day I wake up, I feel more and more grateful and excited that I'm waking up next to her. Like every day gets better. And I, man, I don't know if I've ever felt that way before. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, when I wake up, <laughs> we like having some really good dream. And I wake up and I roll over and there's Ryan. I'm like, man, my life is even better than a dream. I just woke up from the dream to something even better. Oh. Here's another very cool thing. I said to the world, I want a girlfriend that can like hang with me and do athletic endeavors with me. I've never had that before. Until her, and she's a total, total badass. She can probably outdo me in most sports. <laughs> so that's exciting that we can do this together. I've never shared these types of things with anybody that I've been in an intimate relationship with. Kind of moments where I'm excited to be alone for sure to enjoy this but I would love to share it with somebody like my future wife if you're out there if you want to come and do this kind of stuff with me this is the kind of stuff we're gonna do and we're gonna make beans and tortillas on the beach and watch the sunset and it's gonna be a beautiful life <laughs>